All right, what up everybody? Welcome back to the videos. I got another daily vlog coming at you today. Today's gonna be a really cool day. I have a signing at 3 p.m. I'm gonna go drive by some new construction lots and find out what their availability is because I have a client that I picked up from an open house that I held this weekend that is interested in new construction. And they wanna get a better idea of what is available out there uh, that fits their criteria. So I'm gonna go drive around those new construction lots, try to talk to the builders and see what they have coming available. I also have another client looking for a property that is in everybody's criteria right now, which is a three bed, two bath in the 350 price range. Um, and in my area, there's not a lot for sale that is underneath that price range. So. Everybody's fighting for that and my client is one of them. So I'm on the search all day, every single day, looking for this, this property for him and it's been tough, but we're gonna get it done. That's what I'm doing today. I gotta go return my open house signs to my office, have that signing, take care of any other work I need to get done and I'm gonna take you guys along with me today and share with you guys another day in my life. So obviously as you saw, I like to start my mornings off with my daily coffee. Yeah, if you are a coffee fanatic like myself, I highly recommend you get a Nespresso, get these syrups. They're pretty cheap for all the bottles, to be honest. I think the average cost per coffee that I make here is about $1.50, $1.25, versus if you go to Starbucks and spend six bucks per cup of coffee or however many you get per day, because I drink about two or three a day just to kind of stay on my toes, but. If you've seen my previous day in life, so you'll know that I'm pretty much up from the early hours in the morning to the very, very, late hours of the night, if not uh, 12 a.m., 1 a.m. So yeah, I definitely drink a lot of caffeine. You've probably seen that if you're not new to the channel. But right now I have to make a phone call to one of my real estate mentors because I, I met a client at the open house that needs to list their property and also wants to buy a property contingent on their property selling. So I need to make sure that I get all of my, kind of my ducks in a row and make sure that I'm doing the, that process the right way and finding out um, you know, what the real best structure is to do that. So my mentor has been in this business for about six or seven years. She does a lot of transactions per year. So I trust her fully and she's gonna help me kind of walk through what she would recommend doing for these clients and making sure that it's all smooth. So highly recommend you get yourself a mentor that you can call anytime um, to, you know, walk you through questions like this because some of these trickier transactions, they're a little bit more stressful, or I guess I should say a lot more stressful, but if this were to work out, the total commission earned on both these sales would be around $25,000. So I'm not gonna give up just because it's difficult because if they both work out, there, it'll be a nice payday. So let's make that phone call, see what she has to say, see if she can help me out. I held an open house um, on Saturday and Sunday. I actually met a client that, um, you know, they were unrepresented, they stayed for a while talking to me and got them to um, consider listing um, because they, they do want a new house, but they want to sell their house first. They want to list, they haven't, not, they haven't listed yet, and then they want to put offers out. So, um, but they only want to sell if they can find something else. Right, so, so I, I think it'd be okay then to, to list their house and just do the work, whatever work they can feature upon, or let's see, you'd have to be writing offers contingent upon successful closing of their current property, and then you could also say currently listed and give the MLS number. Um, but the seller of the property offers on is probably going to give you a deadline. I mean, I would if, I, if, if it were me. So, so I don't think, I mean, I don't think you're, it's not going to be too, too complicated. Um, the biggest, probably, honestly, the hardest part is just going to be finding a buyer that will be willing to write and sit on an offer before your clients have secured something. But I, I honestly, I think there's, I don't think, your scenario will be actually that uncommon or complicated. You're just going to want to make sure your listing says, you know, closing contingent upon, let's say, not closing, sale contingent upon seller finding and closing on replacement property. And then any offer you write is going to be contingent upon successful closing of their current house, you know, their house currently listed and get the MLS number. All right, now I'm heading back to my office. I'm gonna drop off these open house signs that I borrowed for my open house this last weekend. 
If you guys did not see my most recent video on how I made $100,000 and how I think you can do it too, check that out because in that video I explained to you why open houses are key in this business. They are free and I pulled a listing lead and a buyer lead, um, you know, same client looking to buy and sell their house. So yeah, they do work. They don't always work, but they work most of the time, sometimes half the time, one time. But yeah, now I'm gonna go drop off these signs, maybe get some lunch, drive by those lots and just see what the rest of the day brings. I need to talk to my principal broker and ask him some more questions about the contract details of listing their house. And yeah, I might need another coffee, so I don't know, we'll figure that out later though. All right, I just got to my office. I'm not gonna film inside, because that'd be weird, but I'm gonna go return these, have a conversation, and then I'll be right back. All right, so, I'm at these empty lots. <laughs> now I'm just trying to figure out if any of these are actually sold or if they're still available. Because basically what I want to have done is the clients that I met yesterday need to list their house in order to purchase a house. And what you can do is write an offer on a house that is, uh, dependent on or contingent on their house selling. The best way to do that is to probably find them a new construction home that's to be built so that they have more time to list their property and get an offer. Not that I imagine it would take a long time, but ideally that would give us more time and a little less competition. If there's more available lots out here, that means that they'll have less competition to you know purchase any of these. So you get a little bit more of a choice on you know where your where your house sits and if you want a flat lot which they do so as you can see there's quite a bit of open land over here and i think that this would be pretty ideal for them so this is actually a good sign i'm going to probably call the listing agent and see um, about if we could get them basically what they want and the price that they want um, their listing says that you can bring your own building plans or use theirs. So my clients are looking for a, at least a three bed, two bath has to be around 2000 square feet and they need room for an RV on a flat lot. And it has to be a single level. <laughs> that sounds like a laundry list of a checklist, but in real estate, that's what you kind of deal with. It's all worth it because at the end of this, I'll have sold their property and bought them a new home probably totaling around a million dollars worth of real estate sold to these guys, which would equate to $25,000. So definitely worth the hard work, definitely worth figuring out and problem solving for them. But yeah, I'm gonna give this agent a call, see if I can figure out what's available and what we're able to do for these guys. So stay tuned. Think about it. And or like I, I, I did tell her I said this house is over our price range, but I kind of like it. But it's I mean it's like sixty thousand dollars over or something. And I said, do people ever offer that much lower? Because we've looked at houses, and there's no rhyme or reason to prices. Like some like this, we looked at one on Opeg over in West Salem. Just oh, it was yeah. an open house. Yep. Oh my gosh, it was a trash bin and they wanted 660. And then we go look at the one you had, you know, yesterday, yeah. you know, on Verona. And it is like immaculate, beautiful, gorgeous home. And it's less than price. It doesn't make sense to me. Right. When I told her, I said, well, you know, we can't, we don't really want to go over seven. What the agent could have done for you is said, you know, after you're showing, call the agent that listed it and say, what's your activity? You know, I, we're gonna write an offer, but it's gonna be low. How, are you guys, uh, you know, comfortable entertaining that? And they'll either say, we've got 10 showings this day. We're not gonna take anything, you know, lower right now. Or they'll say, you know what? Write me an offer. And I'll present it, and we'll see what we can do. And I actually just, uh, I just did that. There was a house listed in West um, for 500, and then we walked through it and needed a bit of repairs. So I made a list of all that it needed and then uh, told the listing agent, look, I think it needs about 30,000 in repairs. We're gonna offer you 470. 
and then we ended up getting the house for 480, but they were gonna pay 10,000 in closing costs for my client. So, and then, oh, wow. and then it actually appraised low. So their $500,000 house, we ended up getting it for 470 with, with 6,000 in closing costs. So it's, uh, and, and that closes tomorrow. And, uh, you know, so it does happen. You just have to, you know, be willing to kind of put the offer out there, put the feels out there of, you know, what it's worth and see if you can, uh, you know, find that kind of, that diamond in the rough, but it definitely happens. Okay, well that's good information that makes me feel better. Yeah, I just, I think my husband and I have, need to have a conversation and see where we want to go from here because it's frustrating. So, but I really love that house. Well, I'll talk to my husband and I really appreciate you calling me, well, calling me back, me calling you, you know, all that, taking <laughs> yeah. up your time. I really appreciate it. No, Thank no you. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, well that was a client, well that was a person that came to my open house. They already had a real estate agent but she just called me this morning because it sounds like she's not very happy with her real estate agent. So I'm trying to convince her why I'm the best for the job if she's thinking about reconsidering who she's working with. I never steal clients from people at my brokerage, so if they're working with somebody from my office, I will never ever tell them to steer away. Um, if they're working with somebody else and they're not happy, that's a different story, so. But yeah, that was the conversation I just had with her. Hopefully she reconsiders and calls me back and wants me to show her properties. But either way, that was a five minute conversation for a potential $600,000 sale. So we'll see what happens. All right, that is a wrap on the signing. It was successful. We did have a little bit of a delay because one of the buyer's last name was not legally changed when they got married. So there was some hiccups with the last name on the loan application and what was being signed on the actual documents. So how did it do a few fixes, but uh, overall we we're there just a little bit longer and it was still successful. So these clients close on their property tomorrow. I'm super excited for them, handing them the keys getting a little bit tired here. I'm gonna probably get another cup of coffee here pretty soon. And yeah, hopefully hit the gym tonight, continue on with the productivity and keep the day going. All right guys, it is actually day number two now of this video. Originally I planned on filming the entire day of yesterday where you saw we you know, did the signing and all that. My kids did not wanna to go to sleep until about 9 p.m. So from dinner time until nine o'clock at night, I was working on putting them down or putting one of them down. So, we are now on day two. We've officially closed on that property. I'm on my way right now to pick up the keys for the buyers. So that's super exciting. A $470,000 transaction done and done. Commission check should be ready at some time today. Um, but yeah, that was a cool one. Quick 30 day close. Not too many hiccups, but we did have an appraisal to uh, renegotiate. So we did end up getting a smaller discount on the property of about 20,000. So that was cool. Originally listed at 490, got it for 470. But yeah, I'm picking up the keys right now. Day two, probably film a little bit of my, the end of the day. It's two o'clock in the afternoon right now. So kind of picking up around the time that I left off yesterday. But yeah, let's grab those keys. Oh. All right, key secured. Drop that off later to the buyers. And now I'm on my way to two showings this afternoon actually. So maybe I'll film a little bit of that. We'll see, I don't know um, the vibe of if I'll be filming in front of the client or not. But yeah, I'm on my way to two more showings right now. We'll see how it goes. And then I will update you guys after. All right guys, I'm at my office right now. I'm here to just pick up my check from this transaction that closed in this video. And I wanted to share this clip with you guys to show you that the hard work does pay off. Just stay consistent and YouTube will see the reward. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just picking up the check real quick and I'll show you guys in one sec.
All right, so as you saw, I actually had some open house signs to grab as well. So if you didn't watch my last video on how I made as much as I did in my first year real estate, go check it out because I talk about open houses and that. And if you want to keep seeing paydays and checks, you got to start putting in the work, stay consistent. So, so from the transaction that closed in this video, my total commission earned was $11,205. Now, I'm very grateful that this is not my only transaction that's closing this month, but if it were, that would be $11,000 in one month. Gross, of course, so put some money aside for taxes, but still, $11,000 off one deal. This is possible in this business. Stay consistent. Subscribe to my channel so you learn all my tips and tricks on how I do it. And yeah, that's it. How much do you think you would need to put in for the projects that you're going to do, and how much you can get out of it? Because what you think maybe fifty thousand, so that'd be right about four hundred. I think I can get four fifty after. Yeah, probably pretty close. Honestly, it depends on if you do a bedroom down here. Yeah. Because um, then you'd be at a four bed. Yeah. And then you'd be at twenty one hundred square feet. That's about what. Four bed. I'd have to run the comps. Down here is actually a pretty good area to, you know, invest. Like I said, a lot of the homes around here are being flipped, so yeah, I'd have to see. Um, but definitely yeah. something I can look into just quickly and. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like thinking. I'm just running numbers just roughly. Yeah. I would probably actually make this my bedroom, maybe. Down here. On to the next one. All right, as you can see, it is now 8.47, almost 9 p.m. At, at night, obviously. And we are on our way to the gym, finally. It's a leg day, so this can be a nightmare, but we're gonna go get it done, put the kids to sleep, had dinner. It's been a long day, been a long couple of days, but very productive couple of days. It's been good. I'm excited to edit this video together, share with you guys another day in life or another couple days in the life of a realtor and me. So yeah, gonna go get this workout done. More caffeine to fuel the workout. We're gonna make it a good one. All right, let's go. All right guys, that's a wrap on the gym, 1046, and a wrap on my days. I'm exhausted. Overall, really good couple of days of business. If you've seen any of the other day in the life videos that I've made before, you'll know that obviously I'm heading home at this time usually from the gym, because it's after my kids go to sleep, and you know, after I get to hang out with my fiance for a little while. Um, but yeah, that is, pretty much what my days consist of. That's a pretty consistent, um, you know, look at what my schedule has going for me as a realtor, as a father, as a husband, or I guess fiance, but, and then somebody that tries to balance fitness and, you know, everything in between. So there's another day in the life for you guys or a couple days in the life. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. And as always, I will see you in the next video.